Well, my family actually is natives of High Springs, which is outside of Gainesville in Alachua County. And my grandmother came to Orlando due to the migrant season because they were farm workers at the time. So that's how my grandmother and her children got to Orlando or Orange County. The biggest change is just the growth and the boom of the community, just the new subdivisions, um, the extension of roads, mm -hmm. connecting communities that there was, you know, orange groves or woods that kind of kept you from other people, um, the malls. The only mall when I grew up was the Colonial Plaza. Okay. Um, and the Fashion Square was like the big mall. Um, we did not have West Oaks, Mall of Millennia. The Florida Mall at that time, right when I graduated from high school, was the newest mall. And they only had like J.C. Penney's and they had Burdines. So a lot has changed as far as even our commercial um, exposure. <laughs> John Young Parkway mm -hmm. um, did not connect. You could not go through John Young um, to get just even through like the Washington Shores community that didn't exist. So, you know, John Young, um, actually Conroe Windermere has changed a lot. That used to be very um, kind of rural feel. You kind of was surrounded on both sides by Orange Grove because I grew up in Tangelo Park, but my grandmother lives in Tildenville out in Winter Garden. So we would take that little route through Windermere, which at that time, you didn't, it was not the Windermere today. You know, it was a traditional older version of Windermere that dumped you out of McGuire Road, which does not look the same today. Again, doesn't look the same. It was little McGuire Road with a whole bunch of orange groves surrounding you. And that was the path we took to get to 50. Then to, so of course we didn't have the east-west that went to the Turnpike or the 429. You know, it was, you had to take the local roads. And the local roads were long. So it was a nice little, you had to take a book. It seemed like you had to have a book, which now we would probably be frustrated if it took us that long. Always, you know, enjoyed going to my grandmother's in Tillenville and going to church on Sundays with her up there at Tillenville Missionary Baptist Church, and especially during the holidays because that's where the family would come together. Um, and so we, you know, try to still do things around her because she's 90 now. And so, you know, and I remember those days in Tillenville, which is a small little town tucked behind 50. It's not a town, actually, a neighborhood, but it seemed like a town. I thought I was actually out of town. And then I remember my sister went to the University of Central Florida. She's about five years older than me. And I was telling my mom actually the other day, we were driving um, on the 408 heading to visit some friends out um, near Bithlow. And I was like, do you remember when we had to drive out here, take her to school? It seemed forever to get to UCF. It, I, thought that I, was go I thought I was leaving Orlando as a little girl and that she was going, out of, going away to go to school. So, it's, as a kid, you, it seems so big, and now as an adult, you see the, that you're still kind of local. You're still in this town. Orange County is huge, and there are still communities that are still very distinctive who they are. I mean, you think about Zellwood up in Apopka, the Tangerine community, um, you know, the Plymouth, South Apopka community. And then you have the Oakland Winter Garden folks, and you have even the Biffalo and Christmas, you know, so in Eatonville, and a lot of those communities are still, you know, the, are very strongly rooted in their traditions and the identity of their community. So it's still great. It's, it's still a great place to live, I think, and it depends on what type of lifestyle you want. I think we have best of both worlds now. Absolutely. If you want an urban lifestyle, you can live urban. If you want more of a rural or suburban, you can get that as well. Well, in high school, I was in the band, so a lot of my activities was surrounded around band practice or, you know, the football games. So the fun that um, I participated in was after the football games because typically you had practice after school then you had the games on Friday so one of the traditions we always went to the Burger King on Kirkman and Conroy Windermere after the game um, and that was our social spot that's, that was the hangout spot after each football game and so those were the kind of activities um, I participated in because I was a band girl so that's everything I did. <laughs> what instrument did you play? I played the flute and piccolo but I was a drum major my junior and senior year. I still like going to Lake Eola. Um, it, that's still a great place. And the fairgrounds, actually. The fairgrounds still reminds me of being young. I remember, well, you know, of course the economy changes a lot. So I remember getting your $5 Bur Burger King van when you could, it allowed you to ride the rides all night. And so we always look forward to the Burger King Fridays. So I still, you know, the fairgrounds still reminds me of being a kid and um, having fun and just riding rides, eating whatever you wanted. and then go home stuff. <laughs> there was a place called Fun World out on I-Drive, uh -huh. um, tucked behind the Burger King right at Sand Lake 
and the International Drive right there, that um, intersection, that was similar to like, um, it had, you know, like go-karts and video games. So it was like a mini fair, but it was a great place to hang out. Um, a great place, I guess, you know, when I was dating, we would go there and like, a, it was a nice date environment. But, it, you know, they have fun spot now, but that was one place that was really nice that wish was still here. Six words is difficult, so, but I, I thought I came up with something that just described my experience growing up is life that is young and innocent. Life that is young, wait, life that is young and innocent, yes. That's how I would describe growing up here.